Jesu fige guseni dun 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 se beti bakwe di lenga websugu wa fige guseni ezogu paman lamasha <laughs> dumelam bo masaba hope you guys are good this week we are in something really cool something i have been anticipating to drive for a very long time i am in the haval jolion hev and i can't wait to tell you all about it so stay tuned and if you are new here what have you been waiting for welcome to the family don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you're returning join in all the fun thank you for all the support and yeah let's get into it so let's get started with the exterior of the haval jolion so i had the pleasure of testing out the haval jolion super luxury earlier this year Unfortunately I couldn't do the review because neki cool I'm fit. Yo, neki loala I was so sick. Um it was the time I had the I think it was around the time I had the Toyota Corolla hybrid. I just fell sick. And I was like, you know what? I'll get this one later in the year so I can do the review. And I think on first glance I really did like how it looks up front. Very large, very imposing light clusters that extend all the way down uh, across the body and the front bumper of the vehicle. You know, you have like it's very large and very different, very quirky looking kind of car, you know. Um so it's a bit of a party in the front. And then when you move over to the back, it's a bit more simple. You know, you have the large Haval badging across the boot lid. Um and you obviously have the detailing that it's uh, the decals I mean, that it's a Jolion and underneath it's HEV. So I really do like how it's a bit it's very different but it's 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 very um it's very softened up like it's 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 a crazy looking car but in a very acceptable kind of way if i'm making sense i don't know if i'm making sense but yeah very crazy looking car but in a very acceptable kind of way and i really do like how it looks outside so it sits on 18 inch wheels um looks very pretty this rim is also quite nice uh, and since it's the hev the hybrid one you have a lot of blue accents going on all around you have the hev there you have um the light cluster has a bit of blue around the the lamps Um so in terms of the exterior look and this white pearlescent white is very very pretty you know it sparkles a bit uh, in the sun so I think that outside it's a very cute and very pretty car On the interior I think it's a very clean interior very clean very simply laid out you know no fuss no frill not much is happening in the interior you have your multifunction steering wheel um you have this large 12.3 inch infotainment system screen and this digital cluster up in front of you which houses quite a lot of stuff um you get to see your gauge your fuel economy if it's on charge and your your how much fuel you have left so it it's a very comprehensive kind of interior very clean very simply laid out um i do like this um gear lever this knob this round one i think i experienced it in the kia sorento so they duping some some other manufacturers um which i don't have a huge problem with i think it looks cool um so the interior very nicely laid out there's haval everywhere stitching on the seats in front stitching on all the seats at the back what are you we know it's a haval you know you're in a haval when you're driving this car you know very well that you're in a haval so I think as a in terms of the interior it's very nice even by the speakers you have Haval detailing it's very nice to look at I think the first time I also jumped into a Haval I was like it's actually not messy man it's a very clean design very simple very comprehensive very robust um and in terms of the quality interior feel it feels good the plastics feel okay you know there's not it's not flimsy at all it it actually feels really good um response of the infotainment system could be a little bit better You know, it could be a bit faster, but in any way, I'll just forgive them for that. You do have electric seats. My seats are electric here. Um, you have even a place to just rest your arm. The cup holders are also quite great. Door bins are also quite big enough. Um, so it's a it's a very nice interior. You also have a panoramic sunroof, which I find to be a really nice touch. And I think Haval has outdone themselves in terms of the interior because it looks very, very nice. Um, and I mean, but you know, I mean, the steering wheel also, like the Haval, like it's. everywhere this haval 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 it's everywhere and i'm just like yeah so in terms of the interior you even have heads up display great so in terms of the interior i'm i'm quite happy with it 
So, how does the Haval Jolion drive? So, the Haval Jolion HEV is powered by a 1.5 liter turbo petrol engine that produces 140 kilowatts and 375 newton meters of torque, with obviously the self charging hybrid system. So, self charging hybrid systems basically it charges itself once you put your once you take your foot off the accelerator, it goes into charge mode. So, it kind of like just regenerates energy. Also, when you're braking, the harsher you brake, it just charges up the batteries. Um, so, that's how hybrids work. Hybrids encompass both combustion. So there's a normal engine and then there's batteries that kind of work together and what's nice about battery um, hybrids is that you can actually use the battery on its own especially at lower speeds so if you're maybe pulling out of the driveway driving slowly and not accelerating too much and the car's coasting then you kind of like literally are just on um, the battery alone um, and this is not a plug-in hybrid so you don't have to stop somewhere and plug this one in this one just charges itself as you drive so as I'm driving um, and I'm braking and whatever it charges itself so that's why I think that it's a very it's very nice technology very innovative technology and I think that um, for a hybrid of this caliber obviously when you guys think Chinese there's a lot of stigma around Chinese products you'd actually be very impressed with this car it's actually very very nice to drive and I think it's um, it's very commendable it's absolutely commendable so yeah I mean I'm braking now doing 43 39 kilometers per hour and it's charging so I do like it. I really do think that the drivetrain, everything, there's a lot of synergy between everything. So in terms of driving dynamics, I'm thoroughly impressed. Now we need to just get into the verdict and what I think of this car. So coming on to the verdict, right? What does Rubber think of the Jolion? Right. Let me start with what I don't like because we haven't discussed that. What I don't like né, in this car is the fact that Buffalo Pila blind, they got this visor. Yeah, the sunroof. In KL, that's solid one. That 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 solid one that retreats. I don't know what what is my in English like flimsy. It's flimsy, and you know what it does when the sun is shining too bright. It bits at that thing, and then it hits the steering column, and the steering column now reflects onto the instrument cluster. So I can't see much of the dials. I can't see the speed. I can't see if the 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 safety aids are on. So it's just this big white thing that I'm seeing in front of me. Try to wear my glasses. So yeah, now the sun is not too bright, so I can see. The other thing I don't like, there's no conventional buttons for almost anything. It's only for the aircon. Your climate control, there's buttons. Great, fine. This whole instrument, this whole infotainment system thing, no conventional volume button. Everything is housed in here. So, I'm like, hey, did they get to be? I mean, I can't hang it And I'm just like, oh. guys, there's this huge pothole ne? on Eskiam Patele. And, uh, but I think so I'm just gonna yeah they tried their utmost best to do it but it's still not great anyway back to the matter at hand there's no conventional volume button everything is housed onto this infotainment system screen it's a bit slow to respond also um so that's that's also one thing that I don't like or there's no what is the beef with the volume button like manufacturers please bring back volume knobs my phone is already touch screen. Like, I'm very Yo, Kalawasha, can you guys just go back to normal volume buttons? But luckily, there is a multifunction steering wheel, so I can toggle with the volume here. And another thing I don't like about the Jolion is the boot space. Quite compromised. Um, I would assume that this car is probably um, aimed at family, small families. So I think I needed a, just a little bit of a bigger boot, maybe a deeper boot. And I think that's where Suzuki always gets it uh, right because they have this hollow boot that kind of like goes down so a hollow boot it's just a flat surface and how you said lord that's that thing when you get the battery holy boxing and a bar no when the guy brought it it's like i know spare wheel so if you get into something or a patch hang on this thing or patch like all the fire extinguisher what i got yo it's like who busy come on come but so already who busy how i got going so how about the lady shabana oh but you say the guy 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 what's up <laughs> so that is absolutely crazy so the boot space for me is a bit of a drawback um but other than that i think the haval jolion is absolutely a great product look at how many they are on the roads already guys turn like everywhere you go come haval 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 jolion 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 uh, it's crazy like how south africa has literally bought into this brand but i can see why it kind of defines the term value for money. I mean, you have blind spot monitors, 
that are actually quite like really cool they even flicker if it sees hore you're moving too close in there you have lane keep assist guys i mean you have stop start you have hill descent you have traction control you have so much you get like a whole lot of car for a decent amount of money and this hybrid one is actually also just as good as the normal combustion one if not a bit better i like how it drives i like how quiet it is well it's relatively quiet um because there's a lot of road noise that i'm picking up but you as a car it's actually quite good like the jolion is actually a very 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 nice product so my full verdict is that i like it i like it and I, obviously a lot of people when you speak about hava yo happy now they're back in the country the first time it didn't go so well hey hey nyera, nyera, wara, wara. hey river no are they going to you know we should give them 10 years whatever whatever you know what my analogy to that is you guys take back your exes all the time your exes do some stuff and then you take them back so let's go so allah haval haval didn't get it right the first time then they came back and they are getting it right now so give them a chance the way we give our exes a chance give haval a chance guys everyone deserves a second chance right and i think that they've gotten the formula right in terms of value for money <laughs> that analogy guys i don't know i think they've gotten the formula right in terms of value for money um they're giving us very very great product and at, at a very very great price so let's look into the pricing of the haval jolion hev so the haval jolion hev's pricing starts at 549,000 and goes up to 579,000. so i think there's two variants of this car and to be honest yes you guys might be like yo half a bar for haval um, i think just look at the economy and where everything is going cars are expensive and if you're paying that amount for a car that can yield almost a thousand kilometers on one tank i think it's a bargain i think this is what value for money is a thousand kilometers i find that in cars such as the eh, eh, man mm -mm, man sandero yo how are we now I mean, obviously, you guys are now thinking, oh, no, half a million river, it's a lot. I mean, a thousand kilometers of range. I've experienced it in cars like the BMW X3, Mercedes-Benz C-Class, Isuzu MUX, and D-Max. Those cars are already above half a million rand. So this is actually a bargain if you consider it, if you think about it. You're getting, what, five, a claimed 5.1 liters per 100 Ks? I'm getting five liters dead. This is actually fuel economy defined. And getting a hybrid vehicle at this price point is absolutely commendable i think it's great i think it's i i'm not i'm not unimpressed i think i'm very impressed and i think i i i, I like it i'm i'm happy with it so obviously at that price point you guys are probably gonna be like oh whatever but consider it think about it think about all the pros and cons and i think guys give her valid chance i think out of all the chinese manufacturers this is the least gimmicky chinese manufacturers kind of have they try to overload and play punt on that more for less um, mandate. So they try very hard to give you guys a whole lot of things and then they kind of omit driving dynamics. I'm very big on how a car drives. You can give me all the features in the world, but if you don't drive nice, I'm not going to enjoy the product as a, as a whole. So I think Haval has gotten it right that they give you a car that drives decently, that's priced decently, that looks great. And I think... I think they've got a good product on their hands. I think they've got a good lineup on their hands. This one and the H6 HEV impressed me immensely. And I think that they are absolutely good products. So, yeah. For me, I think the Jolion is probably one of the nicest cars you can get on the market. In terms of its rivals, very few and far in between. Because I did check, you, you do get the Corolla Cross Hybrid. There's a Corolla Cross Hybrid. Flop is that that one is much cheaper than this one. And I've been in a Corolla Cross. It's not as pleasing aesthetically, especially inside, as opposed to the Haval. But the Haval is much more expensive. And I think you're buying into something. And I also can't really comment much on the Corolla Cross Hybrid. Because I haven't driven the Hybrid. Last I drove that Hybrid was on launch what in 2020 was it 2020 or 2021 it was years ago so i can't recall and i haven't had it on test so for me the haval jolion hev makes sense ultimately i think it's a good car they've gotten it right and guys i think you guys should give haval a chance all manufacturers you know like don't 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 knock it till you try it kind of thing you know i mean i yes i live with the car for a week but so far with them coming back into the country it's been quite decently positive reviews um, people are enjoying them 
Um, and the way the economy is going, this is probably, this makes sense. It's a lot of value, getting a lot of value in this car. And uh, I mean, there's Isofix for the kids, so you're sorted. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so that's it from me, guys and girls. Thank you so much for watching. Um, so ultimately, I think I'll give the Haval Jolion a good 7 out of 10. It's something you should consider. It's a very pretty car. It drives decently. And if you do have that 500,000 Rand, look into this hybrid one. Um, and I think you won't regret it. So yeah, that's it from me, Buma Seve. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, guys. It's been so tough. I actually took a week off unintentionally. Um, because they brought the wrong car. I was supposed to have another video up, but they didn't bring me the correct engine So I couldn't review it because I've driven it before um, So I was like, let me get back into it with the Haval. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one uh, Yeah, this car's great. Thank you guys so much for watching Don't forget to like comment subscribe and before you guys leave Let me know what you would get. Would you get this one? Would you get would you get the Haval Jolion HEV? Would you get the normal Haval Jolion? Would you get a Corolla Cross? What are you getting for the 500,000 Rand? Uh, mark and what do you think of the Haval Jolie on HEV so guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe I'm repeating myself so you know what guys bye bye <laughs>